Three Ways to Get Rid of 97% of Your Problems According to American author and entrepreneur T. Harv Eker, the size of the problem is never the issue. What matters is the size of you. Problems are a part of life, but solving and overcoming them is our responsibility, especially if we want to be happy. As defined in Business Dictionary, a problem is is a perceived gap between the existing state and a desired state or deviation from the norm, standard or status quo. However, if you want your life to change for the better, problems are necessary. Norman Vincent Pale, an American minister and author, once said, Problems are to the mind what exercises to the muscles. They toughen and make you strong. You see, now that we have established that problems are a big part of life and they help you become a better person, how best can a person handle problems considering that there are different kinds of problems in the whole wide world? Albert Ellis said, and I quote, The best years of your life are the ones in which you decide your problems are your own. You do not blame them on your mother, the ecology, or the president. You realize that you control your destiny. In this video, I'll share with you three ways of getting rid of 97% of your problems. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Identify a problem and choose your reaction. You see, there are two categories of problems in life, the ones that you have control over and the ones that you don't. For instance, say you run out of some groceries at home or your clothes no longer fit. You can easily solve those problems. You can consider going to the nearest store to pick up some items. As for the issues with your clothes, you can either decide to get new ones or lose some weight. Whichever option you opt for, you can fix it. On the other hand, say you don't like the condition of the weather or someone does something to hurt you or there is a situation of a delayed flight. There's little or nothing you can do in such situations to change things. So, what do you do? In the second category, where you do not have control over the situation, how you respond, not react, to the problem is the first step to solving the problem. According to Captain Jack Sparrow, the problem is not the problem. The problem is your attitude about the problem. When it is clear that you have no control over the problem, choose the path of positivity. For instance, say your flight was cancelled. You can either lose your temper and react in a manner you'll end up regretting, or you could accept the situation as it is and look for ways to enjoy the best of it. It's all up to you. In the end, you have no control over it. When you get pissed over something that you cannot influence, it'll make you unhappy. So, rather than react to the situation, respond to it positively. 2. Choose the mindset of being bigger than your problem. Remember Ecker's words. The size of the problem is never the issue. What matters is the size of you. Remember some of the things that you complained of when you were much younger. Well, why are they no longer a bother to you? Or did they cease to exist anymore just because you're older? The truth is that you have outgrown them. Hence, you no longer consider them a problem. When you understand the size of your problem is the size of you, you'll begin to approach your problems from a different perspective, a better perspective that will help you overcome them easily. According to T. Harv Eker, the secret of success is not to try to avoid or get rid of or shrink from your problems. The secret is to grow yourself so that you are bigger than any problem. Grow yourself to be bigger than your problems and approach it from that standpoint. And you'll see that the things that used to seem like so much of a big deal to you will no longer feel that way. Adela E. Stevenson, an American lawyer, politician and diplomat said, you can tell the size of a man by the thing that makes him mad. So focus on yourself, not the problem. Constantly remind yourself that you are bigger than your problems. You can even say it out loud. Also, the next time you come across a disturbing situation that wants to get you pissed, quietly ask yourself, is this the size of me? Am I that small of a person? Once you do that, you'll be able to overcome that challenge. 3. Break the problem into smaller bits and find a solution for each. Once you've identified what a problem is and you've developed your mindset to see yourself as bigger than the problem, you can then proceed to solve it by breaking it into tiny bits.
When you break problems into tiny bits, you won't feel overwhelmed or anxious as you try to unravel each piece of the puzzle. For instance, say you need to buy a new car for yourself or to help your business so that you can deliver faster to your clients. Instead of feeling so overwhelmed thinking about how to raise the money, you can decide to start cutting a portion of your paycheck at the end of the month within a specific period of time. You'll find out that doing it that way will help you feel better and less bothered about how to achieve that goal. When you are less bothered, you'll feel completely happy with the situation. So, you see, solving a problem isn't as hard as people often paint it to be as long as you follow the rules. Identify and accept the problem. Outgrow the problem. Divide it into smaller bits to find a solution. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.